Ever wondered about the real-world consequences of cybercrimes? Let's delve into the story of the Medibank data breach. Picture this. A cyber extortionist lurking in the shadows of the internet demands a whopping $10 million to stop leaking Australians' medical records. This isn't your run-of-the-mill data leak. We're talking about sensitive details here. Abortions, addiction treatments, HIV statuses. The kind of information that should remain strictly confidential. Now, Medibank, Australia's largest private health insurer, finds itself in a precarious situation. The decision? They refuse to pay the ransom. It's a bold move, guided by the wisdom of cybercrime experts who argue that paying up doesn't necessarily mean shutting down the leak. Meanwhile, the Australian Federal Police are hot on the trail, scrutinizing every digital breadcrumb in an attempt to bring the cyber extortionist to justice. The aftermath of this breach left millions in a state of anxiety, their private information floating in the abyss of the dark web. The ripple effects of such a breach are far-reaching, but how do authorities respond? In the wake of the Medibank data breach, a robust investigation was launched, pooling resources from both domestic and international intelligence agencies. This collaborative effort united Australian agencies with the likes of the FBI, NSA and GCHQ, as well as tech giants such as Microsoft. The probe bore fruit, leading to the unmasking of the alleged perpetrator, a Russian hacker by the name of Alexander Ermakov. Ermakov was not just named and shamed, he was hit with stern sanctions. Among these punitive measures is a travel ban, effectively curtailing his global mobility. But the sanctions didn't stop there. Criminal penalties were put in place for anyone found to be dealing with Ermakov's assets, turning his financial lifelines into potential traps. These sanctions serve as more than just punitive measures. They are a loud and clear message from the international community to the shadowy world of cybercrime. Cybercrime will not be tolerated. In the face of such threats, what can be done to protect sensitive data? Cybersecurity, once a topic for tech enthusiasts, is now a necessity for everyone. It's an essential line of defense against cyber attacks like the Medibank data breach. It's not just about protecting data, but also about maintaining trust and integrity in the digital world. This Medibank case is a wake-up call, highlighting the need for robust cybersecurity measures. Organizations must invest in sophisticated defenses, regular system updates, and employee training to spot potential threats. The dark web is no longer a distant, abstract concept. It's a real threat with tangible consequences. Authorities strongly urge against paying ransoms to cyber criminals. It's a short-term solution that doesn't guarantee data recovery and can even invite further attacks. Instead, the focus should be on prevention, detection, and swift response to any potential breaches. Cybersecurity is no longer a topic confined to the IT department. It's a boardroom discussion, a household conversation, and an educational priority. We all have a role to play in safeguarding our digital world from threats. In the digital age, cybersecurity is no longer an option, it's a necessity. Stay safe out there.